Welcome to Kendra's Artistic Crochet Designs. And so today is March 1st, and it is the first Friday of March. Happens to be, um, let's see, is that right? No, I think today is the first Friday of March. It is March 1st, yes. <laughs> All right. And we are continuing our blanket. So I am... This is what we had so far that we did for the last two months, January and February. So I'm going to tie on a new color and since this is March we are doing green um, let's see what color this is need my glasses to see uh, this is light green and this is the uh, big twist value um, this is the Joanne brand from Joanne fabrics so it says light green anyway we are going to use this and it's a hundred percent acrylic it's a, a worsted weight which we have been using worsted weight yarn and I'm going to tie use my magic circle and tie on this new color so I don't have to worry about working in the ends And make sure that's very very tight before we cut that off all right all right so let me finish up this yes Okay, so today we are going to be going to doing half double crochets. Um, we are going to chain one. This chain one ain't going to matter. So we're going to put, I want to put two half double crochets in this corner to start this out. And we are going to work on like we just did Tuesday okay we're doing front and back loop half double crochets is what we're going to do but you start in the back loop so we're going to start in the back loop go to the back loop and put a half double crochet and go in the front loop put a half double crochet and back loop And so we're just going to do this front and back. I just think this blanket has been a lot of fun here lately. Doing this blanket. I hope you guys are enjoying this. So we're going to alternate. We're going to put a half double crochet in the front loop and then the next one you're going to put a half double crochet in the back loop and you're going to alternate them. So we're doing a little bit of textures. We're going into, uh, because this, this is supposed to be a texture blanket, I promised you textures, we're going to do some. This, uh, this is the start of a little bit of texture. You know, next month we are going to do a basket weave uh, stitch because we're going to put some eggs in the basket. 
that'll be fun next month so I know that Easter is at the end of this month but we're still going to do it on the first Friday of of um, April Looks like that we're ending off with the back loop. Okay. So now in the corner, we're going to do two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochets in there. And, and we're going to do that in all the corners. Starting out in the back loop. And then go to the front loop. And back, front, need some more yarn. <clears throat> Don't forget to alternate that. Back to the corner, two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet. And then starting out in the back loop, going to the front, so and so forth.
Starting out in back loop. We're almost there. I love this green against that white. And then I'm going to finish off this corner with two half double crochets and then I'm going to half double crochet in the first half double crochet for that corner. <clears throat> chain one and then you'll put two half double crochets in that corner just like we did before and so now we need front front and back loops again so we need to find the back loop of there it is that first stitch there it is so back loop front, back, front, back. So what we are going to do with this, so we're just going to continue doing front, back, front, back. It's going to, it's going to texture itself out. Um, since we're doing half double crochets, we probably should do six rows instead of five. Um, so I'm going to let you go um, to do your, your rows. And I'm going to do my rows off camera. And then whenever I come back, I'm going to, um, we're going to see if six rows will be good for, to hold a shamrock. So I'm going to come back and teach you how to make a shamrock. And, and, uh, then we'll be sewing it, sewing it on. Um, I'll figure out how we're going to do that. So I will see you, um, the next time. And when we finish up this blanket, or this part, this month's blanket. Bye-bye now.